England has Shakespeare, Russia has Tolstoy, China has Lucian. The short story we will be examining the next two weeks is Lucian's Diary of a Madman. The author of this short story, Jun, was born to a family with declining wealth, so he knew how people lived and thought on both sides of that financial track. This author was training to be a medical doctor when he was inspired to join the ranks of writers who were making a difference. Chinese intellectuals like Lucian began a literary magazine called The New Youth that was clearly tied to the new cultural movement within China. This movement was critical of the Confucian thought, uh, that would be the thoughts and teachings of Confucius, as well as Western thought which would be the way the Americans think. One of the pieces he wrote was Diary of a Madman, which was published in 1918. Inspired by Jun's writing, the common people rallied, and the result was a student protest in Tiananmen Square in response to the Treaty of Versailles. The people were beginning to recognize that they needed to have a voice within the government. Jin was viewed as the voice of China's conscience for a country on the verge of revolution struggling between egalitarian and authoritarian impulses. He wanted the people to be able to speak for themselves in the debate that was shaping China. He was known as the Sage of Modern China. He was also known as the Commander-in-Chief of China's Cultural Revolution. Eventually, he was championed by the Chinese Communist Party. Jin's prior medical education provided a natural backdrop for the introduction to the short story, where a doctor sets the stage for the reader. The doctor believes there is something significant in the diary he is about to share. In the short story, Jin creatively presents fiction cloaked as non-fiction writing. The diary is written from a perspective of an insane man whose descent into madness comes from living in an oppressive society. It is significant to note that this short story is the earliest manifestation of I, that is the letter I, literature. Jean boldly encourages the reader to consider the I of the madman, and that's the letter I then to reflect on his own personal perspective and his own eye. Jin wanted the reader to be the inquisitor of his or her own soul, refusing to be an accomplice to history, but willing to stand out in the crowd, to be the I, not we. Jin was asking the reader what was the real sickness in their society, and if they were part of that sickness. Well, in the short story, the madman is distracted with what he is seeing in the eyes of the people in his community. But Jin wanted the reader to take a good long look into the eyes of the country's leaders and citizens and determine what the truth was concerning their agenda for the people. Jin presents his challenge as a satirical satirical piece. I like to define satire as the ridiculous with an honest message. Consider the image on this slide. What is the artist trying to say about evolution? <clears throat> is there some truth that needs to be considered? According to this artist, there is. Jin believed that truth gives life to satire. He knew there was a close connection between realism and satire. He knew that with the ridiculous, he could send a message to the people. Usually satire is aimed at the rich, but Jin aims it at the common people who need to find their voice. That voice was found a while later when the people rallied for a demonstration in Tiananmen Square. In order for you to be able to understand the power of Jin's message within this short story, you will be investigating 
The Political Culture in China in 1918, The Author's Life, and the details found in The Diary of a Madman.